So um, let's get down on the roller. So we're going to put our tailbone on the end of the roller and our head resting down on the other end. That's it. So just take a minute to get used to um, your body on the roller and just the feel of that roller and the feel of the floor and the roller supporting you and the pads underneath your feet. That's it. Yep. Yep. So, and just try and pay attention to all the surface areas of contact that your body has with um, all your surroundings. Yep. Yep. That's it, that's it. And just try and get as, as much of a feel for as much of your body as you can so that we can use as much of our body for the rest of the exercises that we're going to do. That's great. That's it, great. So let's just extend our range of movement a little bit. So as if we're like going around corners in a car and we want to take that foam roller out far to the left, swing it out and far to the right. And remember, utilising your contact with the floor, with the roller, using as much of your body as you can. The more you use, the easier that, that movement will be and the greater the range you'll achieve. Good. And let's try turning our head to one side and holding that for a half a minute. Yep, just getting used to that orientation. That's it. Yep, and just getting that pad under your right foot into place a little bit better. So, skip. Yep, that's it. Great. Yeah, that's the way. That's it, great. So let's just notice parts of our body that aren't moving as much as others. So for, in, for example, your shoulders could be moving more. That's it, it's like side to side. Yeah, so your hips, your hips should be sliding side to side, your shoulders can assist that. Your feet are working nicely. That's it, yeah. So hips and shoulders swinging out. Okay. Yep, so let's try and get a little bit more swing through the whole body. That's it, that's what we want. Yep, we want to unrestrict and you utilize whatever parts of our body that aren't used to connecting and um, helping, helping anchor the movement. That's it, that's much better, that's great. That's really good, okay, okay. So let's just change gears and work a little bit more specifically in the hips. So let's bring our feet together, knees out to the sides. That's it, great. And in that position, we're just going to do some tucking and tilting of the hips. Yeah, that's great. Again, trying to use as much of your body. That's really nice gripping with your feet. That's really good. So you can push into your shoulders, even the backs of your hands, and the backs of your arms. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice hip movement. So let's try um, hitching those hips side to side, just swiveling them side to side like a dinner, dinner plate, sitting fairly flat on the table. So, yep. So trying to rotate it like a dinner plate on the table. Yep. That's it. Yep. Good. Good. You can also think of like you're trying to um, press a button on either side of your hips with your hips. That's it. That's good. 
Yes, so you're using a little bit of shoulder action there. You can maybe use a little bit more. And that's good. You're swinging your neck around as well and you're pressing your arms back into the floor. Um, we want to be increasing the connections in our body. We, we want to break out of our, those limited connections that keep us confined to limited ranges of movement. That's great, lovely. Okay, so let's get our feet about a fist width apart and knees um, up to the ceiling again. And we'll just do a couple of tilts and tucks. And while you do that, really feeling an that anchoring into the feet in particular and somewhat into the shoulders and the back. That's it, great. So let's... Um, tuck, uh, tilt the, those hip. Sorry, tuck the tail. Bring the hips back. Yep, yep. So let's tuck the tail, uh, pouring that imaginary bucket of water back towards your face. That's it, right? So keep it there and press evenly down through your feet, lifting your lower back off the roller, then your middle back, and then your upper back. And then just try and um, focus on the support coming up through your shoulders and up through your feet and try and convert that to a rest position. That's excellent. Feel the weight coming out through your shins, out through your shoulders and try and rest, letting the weight um, flow out either end of your body. That's really good. And then we're going to try and... Um, Tuck that tail and come down, upper back, middle back, lower back. That's excellent, great. And we're just going to tuck and tilt and swivel just to get that tension out of the hips. That's great. And we'll do one more of those pelvic curls. So tucking, yep, tucking the hips back and resting. That's excellent, great. So... The more you rest, the, the more easy this next um, movement's going to be. So let's transfer our weight slightly onto our right side, so onto our right foot. So that's the weight-bearing side of our body, and I'd like you to keep your left knee bent, but raise that leg up towards the ceiling. That's the way, pivoting at the hip, and then you can bring it down again. Yep, let's do that three more times. So again, you're trying to rest. You have ample support for your whole body, really ample. So just resting into that support, letting your body organize itself around that support so it's not stressing. It's not trying to do it all by itself. Now let's transfer weight to the left foot and do the same with our right leg. That's excellent, great. That's great. So whenever that seems stressful, just uh, reconnect your focus to wherever your support is and let your body reorganize, great. So let's um, tilt though, uh, tuck that tail back towards you again and come down, that's really good. And let's tuck and tilt and swivel those hips, just getting the tension out, lovely. That's the way, yep, you can squirm it out, you can swing it out, yep, that's great. So let's bring our uh, feet together again and uh, knees falling out to the sides. And we're going to, let's do a bit of tucking and tilting and swiveling in this position again. That's right. That's it. So feeling that movement um, transmitting all through your body. That's great. Now you're getting a really good upper body, um, including shoulders, which... So you're improving. You're improving. This is the idea when we start off trying to move with our whole body. We don't quite make it, but the, the more we keep up with it, the more bits start to get the hang of connecting up with other bits and moving all relative to each other. So let's, um, let's uh, tuck that tail again, that's it. 
and press down evenly through the sides of your feet, this time lifting your lower back up off the foam roll and then your middle and upper. And try and rest out in that position. That's it. And it all depends on how well you can focus on your support and allow your body just to organize itself around that instead of organizing around itself, which will produce a massive amount of tension. It's organizing itself around this, the available support. And you should get to a point where you feel this magical feeling of what um, has been termed in the past the drop. You feel your body dropping and letting go. That's it, great. So let's try and tuck those hips back again, even though it's quite difficult in that position, and upper back, middle back, and lower back come down in a sequence. That's great. Lovely. And we can squirm, squirm those hips out, squirm out that tension. Lovely. Great. That's lovely, great. So, lovely. So let's start off with some um, shoulder movement next. So, um, we'll see how we go for balance. Um, so, what we'll do is um, we'll probably bring our feet out to a little bit wider than fist width apart. In fact, kind of short, yep, that should do it. Yep, so feeling nice and stable through there. And going to raise our arms up to the ceiling so fingers pointing to the ceiling and we're just going to lift and lower those arms and trying not to force that at all in fact trying to gain range of movement by relaxing into that movement and if you can't relax just always come back to the proprioceptors on the bottoms of your feet by wriggling your feet into those pads that will indicate to your body it's nicely supported and things will start to let go. That's great. So so let's let's just backtrack this a little bit. So before you lift and lower, get a good feel for your body uh, where it's being supported. Yep. Yep. And therein you, we've just covered the, the most important foundation for our, for our exercise which is our connection with the floor, our support from the floor. We're just going to gradually introduce some movement to those shoulders. So just little, really relaxed movements. Um, yep. Just freeing up movements. Um, and your main focus should still actually be on the support that you're feeling throughout your whole body. That's it. And this movement is just a little add-on to that exercise in, in um, feeling supported. That's great. That's really good. Yep. Now let's, um, as we keep moving those, those arms in and out, let's gradually, and I mean really quite slowly, open our arms out to the sides. So we want to take about a minute to get those arms all the way out. So it's quite slow. We'll, yep. We we'll just, yep. And if you, whenever you find that hard, just, just bring your arms up more vertically again because the more you take those arms out to the side, it becomes just a little bit more difficult for your body to coordinate. That's it, great. Feel your connection with, the, with your feet to the floor. And as you're drawing in and out now, you might want to think of your spine and your arms reaching out away from your spine and then drawing into your spine. That's it. Great. Beautiful. That's, that's really excellent. That's really good. Yep. Good. Yep. So, and you can also imagine there's there's some people trying to pull your arms out and they are stronger and the arms go out and then, then they get weak and you pull your arms back in. That's it, great. So let's try um, bringing our arms to our side, so palms just facing into your body. Let's start um, shrugging those shoulders up and down and again 
it's just you're doing it very, very kind of um, relax, saying as relaxed as you can. That's really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really good. Yep. So trying to draw those sh shoulders up towards your ears. Trying to keep, imagine that they're sliding along a, a surface to try and keep them as low to the mat as you can. That's it, great. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to take about a minute to uh, bring those arms out to a T position. So keep, keep shrugging, yep, up and down. And as you do, yep. And keep trying to get your bearings with your feet. Yep. Your feet and also your tailbone. They're very strong reference points. Feet, feet and pelvic region are very strong reference points for your for your shoulder, neck, head region. We wanna get yeah, we wanna uh, move in relation to those other two zones of your body. That's it, great. Lovely. That's really good. Okay, so I'll just set you up with some nice support for your upper arms. Actually, you can draw your arms about to about 45, degree, 45 degrees next to your body, so a little bit, yep, yeah, down towards your feet, that's it. Have a good rest for your, for your arms and shoulders. That's why the pillows are there. So this is a little bit of a rehab movement for people who get sore shoulders. And so we wanna start off with a really nice relaxed position. And then we're, all we're gonna do is we're gonna bend our elbows so our hands are sort of gonna point up more towards the ceiling. That's it, that's great. Yep, and then we're just going to make little pushing um, movements with our palms towards the ceiling. That's it, yep, both hands together. So yeah, little waving movements. And if it gets uncomfortable or sore, you just come back to resting your upper arms on those pillows and making the movement smaller. That's it. So if you imagine pushing something fairly light away from you, like a balloon or something, just a little bit maybe heavier than a balloon, that's the way. So that's great. Yep, try and keep that nice and smooth and wave-like, yep. Yep, that's lovely. And think of your body as being very light and relaxed and supported. That's it, great. And let's start to uh, move, move that hand movement so that you're not trying to push something coming from on top, but um, behind, behind you on the back wall somewhere. Yep, so keep your palms the way they were. That's it, that's the way. So yes, so you're pushing, yep. So elbows out to the sides as you do that, yes. That's what you want. That will keep your chest open and your shoulders in a better position. So, yep, that's okay. So just try and you do that in a little bit more floating manner if you can. And see, you're using really quite a lot of effort with your upper body. We want to cut that right down. So what we want is more attention to your feet and the support coming up through your tailbone and we want to get that shoulder action is just quite wafty and wavy. That's all we want. This is rehab, it's not strengthening. This is, this is trying to increase your body's um, connections and it isn't going to connect if you're forcing, it's going to protect. It's going to contract and withdraw from connection, so you want it. You want this movement to be as free and easy as possible and you want to feel supported and connected between your shoulders to your tailbone and your feet as possible. And a connected body feels much safer and it will um, switch off all that. Um, all that contractive disconnection. 
which is a protection mechanism. That's great. Okay, lovely. That's really good. Okay. So let's just now combine a bit of, bit of um, arm and leg movement. So I uh, might just leave the pillows there and see how that goes. So what I'd like you to try and do is um, we're going to lift um, um, opposite arm to leg. So, so one leg lifts up, keeping the knee bent. That's it. And opposite arm points up to the ceiling. That's it. Great. So don't worry if you don't get the coordination of this um, straight away. Let's see. Let's see if we can just uh, reach out your leg and your arm together. That's it. And rest. Rest. Feel the support that's uh, there for you. And then bend that knee in and draw that hand up to the ceiling again. And just one more time on that side. That's it. And rest, rest, rest. Let your body connect naturally. Let your body find its own state of organisation based around the support that you're um, focusing on. That's great. So let's bend the knee and bring the arm up. And we're going to take that leg, put that foot back down on the floor and bring the other arm down, bring the arm down and take the other arm up and the other leg up and we'll just repeat that. Yeah, so yeah, don't worry, you might not get the coordination straight away. So reaching your leg out and your arm out together and then rest, rest, yep. Yeah. That's good. Feel, feel, feel the foam roller a little bit more holding you up. That's better. That's a little bit better. Let your arm drop. It's still, yes, good, good. That's it, good. Okay, so let's quite lazily and staying relaxed, draw that knee and that arm in again. Yep. That's it, great. So one more of those. So the challenge here is not to fight against the support, but to let the support in. So that your body is working in a real situation and not a fake one, because, because we, most of the time we just go around thinking we're, un, we're completely unsupported when we, when we actually are supported. Great. So yes, so bring that arm and leg back up. Let's take that foot back down to the mat and let's lift the other arm up now that's the way and see if you can raise one leg we'll just see this is a bit more advanced so see if you can raise one leg probably your left leg because you just worked your right leg so sorry your right leg because you just worked your left leg yep that's great so just try and get used to that yep and yep that's good and just see how you go. If you fall off, it's fine. So let's try and straighten that leg and your left arm. That's it. Great. That's it. That's it. And bring them back in. That's okay. That's good. Do you want to just for today, we'll just, yeah, we'll just give it a couple more goes and it's fine if you fall. Or if you feel that's too much, we'll just swap sides. You might find the other sides a bit easier. Yep. Yep. So. Yep. So let's try and try that on the other side. That's it. So feel that support. Try and. Yep. Good. Good. So your inner, uh, your body's in a pretty in, intense um, um, learning at the moment. So it's to be expected. It's going to wobble. That's great. That's great. So we'll leave that yeah. next time you do that. You probably uh, your body will have maybe sorted out some mm -hmm. things. Great. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's really fine. That's really good work. Well done. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, very gently squeeze and pull out the magic circle. Yep, that's it, great. And we're going to do that with our arms straight for a start. Yep, that's good. So really I shouldn't see that magic circle moving much in and out at all because the movement is to just help free up your shoulders. It's not a gym exercise. That movement is to just help free up the, the joints. That's it. And doing that I'd like you to swing, swing your arms over to the right and keep squeezing and pulling. Yep, so make the squeezing and pulling just a little bit quicker. Yep, so a little bit less control. We don't want to control that. We just want to sort of almost shake the magic circle in and out to free the shoulders up. Yep, just a little, yep. So little impulses is what we want. That's the way, yep. And you can back that off. So say that's using 30% effort, back it down to about 15. That's it. Yep. And feel feel your feet while you're doing that because that, that that's kind of what this is all about. It's, it's about connecting your shoulders right down through your tailbone and into your feet. And then we're going to swing that circle over to your left and keep pulsing that, that circle. Let's turn you, it'll keep the arm position, turn your head the other way, away. That's it. Yep, let's swing those knees over the other way as well a bit and keep pulsing. Great, okay, lovely. Okay, so let's swing it over to the right and look the other way, take the knees over. That's it, great. Just see if you can lift and lower at least one of your ankles while you do that, just to get a nice, yep, yep, just just the, sorry, just the heel I should have said rather than the ankle, yeah. So while you're doing that, try and get as a feeling of your whole body engaging sort of as a unit and being t everything, all your movements being supported by the floor. This is, this is rarely a mindset we have. Whenever we're given a challenge, our mind just focuses very nar narrowly on a specific part of our body and not the whole body, which is how things will work much better if you use your whole body. Great. So um, let's bring our knees and arms up to the ceiling and let's go, let's do that same pulsing, taking the magic circle gradually overhead. Don't, you're not in a hurry. You can take half a minute to get there. So consider what this is for. It's not to squeeze a magic circle, it's to free up the shoulders. It's using the, those little um, bouncy movements, those little pulses to help free up as many muscles that have been um, you know, held rigidly in those shoulders. Free as many of them up as possible. See if you can take your arms over, and if you can't take them over more, uh, bring your chest up to the ceiling, that will help. Great. So pushing your, your chest and your shoulder region up to the ceiling will help draw your arms over more. That's it, great. You can swing, you can swing that magic circle a little bit from one side to the other. And see if you can swing your knees a little bit the other way. That's great. And see if you can turn your head in the opposite direction of the circle. That's it, and hold it there. Great. Yep. And then you can swing it over the other way. Great. Excellent. Good. Good. Okay. That's excellent. So let's bring the circle and we'll rest it on just below our knees on the fronts of our thighs. Yep. Your hands on top of the circle like it's a steering wheel. And just little pulses up and down. 
again, it's not to show how much you can push the circle, it's to free up those, those shoulder joints. And you can certainly squirm your shoulders around a little bit as you're doing that, just to help free up the, as many muscles as you can in those shoulders. And that's great. See how you're lifting your chest as you do that? That's excellent. You can try even pushing your tailbone a little bit as you squeeze. That will help expand your chest and keep your shoulders back in a really strong position. And you can also use your feet for a little bit of assistance to anchor your tailbone. That's great. Let's, let's do that. Let's keep the pulsing going. You're slowing it down. You're controlling it a little bit too much. So little pulses. Let's turn your head to the right for half a minute, 30 seconds. Yeah, great. Let's check in with all parts of our body in contact with the support, feet, back, head. That's it. Even hands, because even the tool that you're using is a support that your whole body can lean into. And let's turn our head the other way and check in with all our supports. That's great. That's great. So I'm even seeing your pelvis moving a little bit, which is great. That's exactly what we want. We want to feel, we want to see signs that everything is learning how to coordinate and connect with everything else. We're flushing out those underworking parts of the body as we are flushing out the overworking parts, we're getting everything working nice and evenly. That's, that's really good. Good. Okay. So let's let's put that circle between our knees now. That's the way. Yep. Yep. And. And we're just going to do little squeezes of the circle again, again, just trying to free to free up um, the hip joints. That's it. You don't, yes, that's great. Now let's try and do that in a tucked position, which you sort of are in already. Yep, fairly tucked. You don't want to have need to force that. Yep. Let's turn your head to the side. Let's take your arms out to the side. Even that's great. That's great. So get a feeling for this movement coming all the way from your feet and your shoulders. Keep your chest nice and open. That's it. Great. Let's um, so little pulses. Let's now let's um, tilt the hips forward. The other way. That's it. Keep them tilted forward, and try and think of your of your tailbone and not just digging into the foam roller, but um, but drawing towards your shoulder blades and your shoulder blades drawing towards your tailbone. So your back is arching a little bit as you squeeze. That's great. And you, you probably even feel your shoulders pressing down a little bit better as you do that. So using more, more of your body as you squeeze the magic circle. And you're also obviously feeling your feet. And you, if you Pull your feet in towards your body as you squeeze. That's going to help keep your tailbone anchored and your hips tilting forward. That's it. Let's let's try doing that with your head um, turned to the left. And let's swing those knees out a little bit to the right. Yep, that's the way. And keep keep those little pulsing squeezes going. And what I'd also like you to do, if, if possible, just adding on a little thing, uh, if, if you can do one more thing, which is just rotating your wrists for me. Great. So we'll, we're working towards as full body movement as we can. If you move one part at one end of your body and another part at the other end, it's got to make some connections between the two points. That's great. Okay. So let's just try um, uh, putting our legs actually through the magic circle now. So 
that they, the circle comes to about the same position just above the knees. So, um, yeah, feet through, that's the way. Yep, yeah. yep, and we're just going to do the same thing, only put, pressing outwards, little pulses. And this is absolutely not a gym workout at all. You'll feel plenty challenged after the end of this um, routine just from the little pulsing movements, believe me, because when you work on a subtle level like this, you're engaging more muscles. You're getting more connections that usually aren't even in the picture. They will, you will feel this after the, the, the routine, after we've completed it. Those are the those unused parts are the ones we want to trigger. So, so working um, r really with a lot of force, all it's going to do is just engage those same set of muscles that we habitually use that hold all the tension and push out all other connections that are available to us. So just little pulses out. Yep. And let's turn our head away the other direction and let's get a little bit of wrist movement going so we're feeling again that that sensation that our whole body is connecting through and through from our feet to our shoulders right out to our hands and through our neck because you got it turned and and you can turn your head the other way and keep going and let's rock those knees over in away from your gaze, that's it, good, that's the way, good, lovely, yep, good, and I guess we should rock those knees this way and turn the other way, that's it, that's lovely, great. You can also, with this, you can just add on and add on and add on, so you can even add on little um, heel lifting movements as you do that. That's it, great, good, excellent. Okay. Good. Okay. So let's take that circle off now. And, and let's lie back and as you lie back you can grab that cushion if you like and put it behind your head great that's fantastic good and we're going to add another cushion and we're going to put that between your shoulder blades just to keep that chest open so there's just a little gap yeah between the two pillows so your shoulders can fall into that gap. That's the way, great. Lovely, nice open chest, nice, nice open shoulder position. So we're just gonna start off with um, rotating our ankles. Yep, feeling a little bit of uh, massaging pressure up through the foam roller. That's excellent, great. And as you do that, you can uh, just, um, do a little bit of sideways movement with your upper body. Just get those shoulders moving around and those hips. So, so just kind of squirming side to side. That's it. Trying to get this movement connecting all through your body. You can even move your wrists and as if you're transferring um, the tension that's in your shoulders out through your wrists and fingers which is what we're trying to do down this end as well. We're trying to encourage tension to um, exit through the ankles and feet. That's lovely, great. Now let's um, just point, point and flex those feet. We can do that, that, yep, with feet, yep, in unison, that's right, lovely. And then we can do point one foot and flex the other. Yep, that's good. And try and keep keep um, the feeling in your upper body by moving that upper body. Keep that moving. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really great. Yep, that's really good hip movement too. That's excellent. Yes, so look, we're trying to extend the movement that's going on down here right up through your body. So it's extending beautifully up through your hips. And now let's try and extend that movement right out into your shoulders and into your neck and out through your wrists. That's excellent. Good. Really good. Excellent. Good. So let's um, let's just imagine our feet are um, standing on a on the floor. So the the floor in this case is like a vertical surface, but we we'll imagine we're in a standing position with our feet flat on the floor. And what I'd like us to do is to try and turn turn the soles of our feet in to face each other, keeping the toes pointed up to the ceiling. Yep. And then we're going to turn those feet out away from each other. Trying to keep the toes pointing to the ceiling. So let's flex those feet, those toes in towards you a bit more. Because, because your floor is getting very slanted. It's pointing down away from you. You want to keep that floor nice and flat underneath you by keeping your toes. That's much better. Much better. Yep. And then we're going to... Um, Turn the feet out. Yes, so now you're managing to keep those toes nice and upright. That's great. Let's keep going with that because it's, a, it's a, usually a very underused um, uh, plane of movement for our ankles. You're very good at turning them in. It's the turning out that's difficult. And... Yeah, that's lovely. Good. So perhaps you can think of an upper body movement that you can combine with that. Something that your upper body can do to maybe help assist what's going down on down in your ankles. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. That's excellent. Good. So a bit of test movement. That's excellent. Good. Great. Okay. So what we're going to do is bring our uh, foam roller now under, actually before we do, let's just, let's just roll, um, roll our legs uh, from side to side. So keeping them fairly straight, but you're just going to roll them side to side. That's excellent. Good. And you can fully use your upper body. So, excellent. So see how that opposite shoulder is really working oppositionally. That's excellent. Good. Good, good. Excellent. Good. So let's bring that foam roller up a little bit higher. So somewhere a little bit lower than the middle of the calf because there's usually a bit of a sore spot there. We're going to just going to keep rolling side to side. That same movement. That's great. That's really good. Making an upper body movement just as much as the lower body. Great. Okay. Let's bring the foam roller right up now under our hips. So it's just under that flat bony bit, the sacrum bit. Yep. Good. Okay. And let's have yeah let's have a little roll side to side you may not be able to go very far with this depending on how sore those gluteus muscles are that's it great so you can bend your knees to do this this particular roll that's excellent good good excellent great so get, yes, good shoulder movement, good oppositional shoulder movement. Now what we're going to do is take a hold of the ends of your foam roller with your hands and just even that up a bit and keep holding the ends. We're going to lift one uh, leg up into tabletop position and the other, bring the other leg up and bring your legs together. That's it. And we're going to swing those legs out side to side. And this is where it may get a little bit sore. 
So just um, uh, just tailor, tailor that movement to what you can um, deal with. Trying to keep, yep, yeah, yeah, that's it. So absolutely using your shoulders oppositionally and, and you're adding in a nice, beautiful counter uh, head move, movement too. That's excellent. Great. So let's add on a little bit of ankle movement here. So as your knees go over to one side, just pause and rotate those ankles out. That's excellent. Good. And then swing them over the other way. That's it. And rotate those ankles out. Let's part the knees a little bit and, and keep going with that. So, yep, that's a good distance. And come over again, still with the knees parted, and we'll do a little bit more ankle movement. That's excellent. Great. Okay. Let's bring the knees up to the ceiling now. And let's start doing some little bicycle movements. Making little circles, yep. That's the way. So just taking it real easy. Don't want to overextend because then your body will lock up. And when the when if ever the going gets tough, just, just push into your support with your shoulders. Yep, get your body nice and connected all the way through to your shoulders. Take the stress off your um, hips and your lower back. That's it, and you, we can reverse, we can reverse, that's it, great. Great. Okay, so a new movement um, that um, a friend of mine showed me is, let's bring our knees a little bit wider as we do that. Yep. And let's try and point our toes in towards each other as we bicycle. That's it. It's a bit tricky. Some people just, well... I've only seen one person do this very, very fluidly and naturally. It's actually quite tricky. So, and let's try reversing that still with toes pointed in. And try and look up a little bit higher. Get get your, yep. Get, just, rather than look, let your body get the hang of it. That's excellent. Now it becomes a little bit more free form because keeping your knees still fairly wide, let's just vary the angle of our ankle so you can turn turn your toes out while you do it. Yep, yep. And just randomize that, that ankle position a bit. So turning them out and in and one out and one in, that's it. There's a huge, huge amount of coordination involved with that, huge, it's just, there's something we just never never even think of doing in our ordinary lives, just walking on flat surfaces and sitting and standing and not really having to negotiate anything very interesting. That's excellent. Yeah. And try not to be too mesmerized by just the, the, the foot and leg movement. Once you get a bit familiar, try to try to press those shoulders in and squirm those shoulders so you're getting more of your body involved. Arms, shoulders, yeah. And you, yeah, you can certainly keep holding the foam roller. That'll probably recruit a little bit more uh, connection. And you can turn your head to one side and do do that for half a minute. Yeah. So. So the more you do this with um, a sense of pleasure and feeling, your, your body is no, going to know where to go because it's going to hit all the spots that feel good and the, all those spots are going to be the ones where it's kind of snagged up or either snagged up and tight or just hasn't seen the light of day for so long it's just busting to um, activate. That's uh, excellent, great. So let's turn our head the other way. Right. Good. Trying to always come back to the support from the floor and the foam roller to help our bodies relax and organize so, so that it, so it'll be in perfect connection. 
It'll be body and floor and foam roller all working as one unit. That's excellent. Yes, trying to get as much good feeling out of that. That let that be your your guiding um, sensation there. That's excellent. Good. If you like, you can throw. Let's maybe reach one arm out to your side and get a little bit of um, wrist movement going there. Probably. That's it. Again, pressing down into those shoulders. Yeah, that's a little bit of an awkward movement. So maybe a little bit harder to get good sensations. But that's what you're working towards. You're trying to convert an awkward, stiff, contracted, awkward position into a lovely connecting, connected, comfortable movement. That's excellent. You can turn your head the other way while you keep that arm moving. That's excellent. Wow. There are so many movements there, I can't count them all. That's fantastic. So let's um, bring that hand back onto the foam roll and we'll get the other hand going. Yep. That's excellent. Yeah, so coming back to your whole body and trying to get as much good feeling as you can, which includes the feeling of, you know, if you're tired, just relax a little bit more. Try not to use quite so much energy. Or if it's feeling good to expend energy and to really press out, just follow that. Whichever, whichever you, whichever your uh, pleasure principle, um, uh, whichever direction it takes you in. That's great. And you can turn your head the other way while you do that. That's great. Okay. Okay, so only going to have about another 20 seconds, so get get the most out of it you can. That's excellent movement, by the way. That's so great. Particularly on the other side. I think if you warmed up a bit more, you'd be getting yeah, some lovely uh, writhing leg and uh, arm movements. That's great. And right through your torso. That's excellent. Great. Lovely. So let's work a little bit more formally now. So we'll um, bring that hand, free hand, back to the roller. Lovely. Good. And we're going to um, come up into a tabletop, bringing one leg up at a time. That's it. We're going to bring our heels together and our knees out. So we're in a frog position, feet, uh, toes pointing out to the sides. We're going to start... Uh, gently with just small mo movements pushing a balloon out with our feet away from our body yeah and coming back in and try and get the feeling here for your shoulders contributing yeah yeah that's excellent that's excellent so the the tailbone is is like your kind of your pivotal point but the tailbone is also connected right through to your shoulders and your shoulders are connected right out through your arms. So, so, whatever, so whatever we want to project through our feet can come all the way from your fingertips, can come all the way from your shoulders, it can come all the way from your spine and right through into your tailbone and transferred through to your feet. So if you were pushing something a little bit more substantial away from you, let's, let's pretend that that's happening, you can really push even more into, into your support with your shoulders and the rest of your body. Yep. As, if, as if like your life depended on it a little bit more. You know, something is coming in hard and fast and you need to propel it with as much of your body as you can. That's excellent. Great. Good. Okay. So let's do some leg circles. So feet pointed up to the ceiling. That's the way. And let's just keep those legs straight and we're going to drop them down to uh, about hip level, just above hip level. So drop them straight down to the mat keeping the legs straight so 
that. Okay. So without swinging them. Oh, so when, will we do it your way? <laughs> we can. Let's go your way. So let's circle those legs, keeping them together, keeping them straight out to the right hand side. And yep, and then swing them over, down and over to the left hand side and back up. That's it, great. So really anchoring into that tailbone and feeling feeling yourself beautifully connected and grounded to the, the to the to the mat. That's it. So so think of your upper body working and your lower body is just swinging around because it's because it's beautifully anchored by your upper body. So, yep. That's excellent. Let's let's change the direction and let's turn your head in the opposite direction. That's great. Yep. Good. Good. That's excellent. So really, really good um, shoulder anchoring going on there. So swinging the legs one way and pressing out the other way with your shoulder. That's good. So, yep. So why don't we keep your head turned uh, towards me and, and just keep it there while you're moving. So, yep, so keep your head turned this way while you um, circle those legs around. Yep. And then we're going to turn your head the other way and keep circling. That's excellent, really using those shoulders to anchor, anchor oppositionally to the direction of the legs. That's great. Let's turn the legs the other way. And you can bring your head this way. That's it. Great. Lovely. So let's um, keep your legs upright now. And let's do a couple of um, just some scissors. Scissors with our legs. That's the way. And that scissors movement is totally anchored by your upper body and by your hands. That's lovely. Great. So... Um, let's do, we're going to, do, going to do our helicopters now. So what that means is we're going to scissors once, scissors twice, and then rotate our legs around. Stop. Scissors once, scissors twice, and rotate around the other way. That's lovely. And when you get the hang of that, we're going to get you out of that mesmerized state of just being on your legs and hips and right down into your shoulders. You want to feel this movement connecting right down to your shoulders, your elbows and your hands and particularly anchoring off that tailbone. That's excellent. Great. Okay, let's do our openings. So uh, legs together and we're just going to take our legs, uh, op open them out to the sides. Yep and point your toes back in to come in yep and point them out to come out that's excellent great yep so this time as we take them out we're going to hold that out open position we're just going to rotate those ankles in that position and feel try and feel that movement transmitting even right down into your shoulders yep that's the way, that's really good. This time we're going to um, bring our legs together by um, pointing our heels in. Yes, and then pointing our heels out to, to open. That's it, great. So just do a few more of those and keeping, keeping nice and anchored in the shoulders. That's fantastic, good. Okay, lovely. So, lovely. so let's just do some um, double leg bicycles now. So keeping our legs together, that's the way. Great. Really good. Lovely. And we can reverse that as well. So, yep. So trying to push a button out on the far wall and drag it up to the ceiling. 
That's it. And reaching out through those shoulders into the mat. That's good. That's really good. Okay. Let's... Um, Let's take the um, foam roller now and put it uh, under um, our lower back. So we'll need to get rid of um, probably both of the cushions, I think. So let's um, bring our feet together, knees out, falling out to the sides. Great. And let's do some tilting and tucking here and some swiveling. So if it's sore, tilting and tucking, do some swiveling. If it's sore swiveling, do some tilting and tucking. Just to free, they, they'll... Both those movements will help free the other one up. That's it, great. So try and keep those feet nice and anchored on the mat. Yeah, that's great. Really good. That's it, okay. Um, let's bring that foam roller up a little bit higher now and we'll keep going. That's it, good. That's excellent, good. So let's bring our hands behind our head and we're going to do just little chest lifts. And as you do, I'd like you to pull your feet in towards you. That's it. And pull your tailbone in towards you. And what I like you to do is little little jumps. So you're going to jump your chest up by just little um, bursts of um, yes and then dropping. Yeah. That's the way. And where the effort should be coming from is through your feet and your tailbone trying to drag you up by pulling in towards your chest. That's it. You got it. You got it. Yep. So think less about your chest. Make your feet and your tailbone do the work for you. That's excellent. Great. So while you're doing that, you're keeping a perfect pelvic position. Your pelvis is staying open and it's not collapsing. That's excellent. Good. What I'd like you to do is come up into a chest lift and hold it there. And now imagine a bag of rice on your tummy or wherever it hurts and relax and come up a bit higher. That's excellent, good. And come back down. So let's do a couple more like that. So first of all, um, hauling yourself up with your feet and your tailbone, just jumping up, relax. Imagine that sack of rice and relax and come up a bit higher. That's excellent, good. And come back down. Just one more of those. So just breaking it down into those two steps. Relax and come up higher. That's excellent. It's your best one. Well done. Good. Let's bring that um, foam roller up higher again. That's it. So just below the shoulder blades. That's excellent. Great. See, yeah, see if you can get it up high enough for your tailbone just to touch. Yep. So, so bend your knees and see if your tailbone will drop. Okay. 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 So just, just stay there and see if you can relax. It's, yep. The more you relax, that tailbone's gonna, going to drop. And think of um, a bag of rice uh, on your chest and, and help, help that uh, relax too. That's excellent, good. So this is dependent on uh, muscles that are contracting because they obviously are sensing this is quite unusual and so they're trying to um, limit your range of movement um, in case you, you're going to do any harm. So the way to help them relax is just focus on where you're being supported. Throughout any zones of contact you have with your surroundings. That's it, great. 
and particularly chest uh, fascia across the chest gets very tight so we can just imagine um, a sack of rice there so um, let's make sure that we're looking up just a little bit higher than eye level and our head's ni head is nice and rested back and we're going to just start off with some little squats keeping keeping our feet flat footed that's it yes so just so just ease yourself into that it's not how low you go it's how relaxed you can feel so let's let's go down into our squat and hold that position yep keep looking up and think of the floor supporting you and when you get when you get that feeling just drop a bit further that's it think of the floor again when you get that feeling drop a bit further great so to come up you can either press off with your hands on the floor or just come up that's great okay so this time let's keep our arms uh, raised in front of us but only as high as is comfortable I'm going to keep looking up and feel the floor and only when you get that sense of the floor being being there underneath you drop into it and then feel the floor and just drop into it and keep looking up great let's come off our heels let's stay down there yep we raise our heels and just bounce try and bounce out any resistance in your body so it's going to smoke out all those weaknesses in those ankles it's totally aligning your ankles and your knees and smoking out all the the weak lines of connection in them that's it and if you need to you can to come back up you can push your, push off with your hands to come back up lovely so lovely so let's bring our arms up overhead Think of re thinking of reaching out through our um, little fingers. So palms fa facing in towards each other. Yep, that's it. Trying to stay as relaxed as possible. Let's let the hips uh, drop forwards. And to counterweight, you can think of your shoulders and your upper body resting back. Okay, so let's... Um, when we breathe in, I'd like you to push in to the floor with your feet and slightly push the floor apart with your feet and that's going to press your uh, pelvis out more and then and then at the same time reach with your upper body back that's it and then on your out breath just relax and let your hips fall out more and your upper body fall back more that's excellent great okay so let's bend our knees and come up straight Okay, bring your arms down and just have a little um, rotation of those shoulders, bit of a squirm. And turn your head side to side as you do that. Try and combine neck movement with shoulder movement. And let's come up and down on our toes as we do that, if possible. So, yep, shoulder and neck movement. And trying to get that movement out through your wrists and fingers that's excellent good that's excellent so we're going to do the same thing um, with the arms raised so we're going to raise our arms thinking of lengthening out through our little fingers palms facing in and relax relax into that position and we're going to let our hips drop forwards upper body fall back we're going to increase that on the in-breath by pressing out with our feet pushing our hips further forward and our upper body can lever back more easily now out breath just let your weight let the hips drop forward and your upper body drop back using our weight that's excellent let's let's back that off with just a, an inch just to relax and let's um, rotate our body still with your arms up still resting back with your hips forward you're going to rotate your body slightly to the right with your feet planted yes you're going to turn to your right and hold that rotation as you let that hip that forward hip drop out towards me and your upper body drop back away from that hip we're going to do the same thing with our breath we're going to 
push down into our feet and get that hip out this way more and your upper body just falling back away from that hip one more so breathing in pressing the hip out resting back and out breath just letting your weight do that for you that's great so let's rotate around the other way and breathing in we're going to press out with our feet to push our hips hip forward and levering your upper body back and out breath just relaxing into that great so just uh, bring your arms back down there we go can you tell me how bad that was well, it was quite strenuous having to raise my arms up and was twist it? around. And wow. Because my neck was getting sore from holding my head up so ah, much. And how bad was that out of ten? <laughs> how bad? An eight. Oh, an eight? <laughs> yeah. So it's nearly dropping off. Yeah, it was really hard. <laughs> wow, wow. And how many times did we have to stop because you were, because oh, you were so stressing out? Probably about three times. Yeah. Mm. And nobody, and we didn't show that on the mm. movie, did oh, we? It might be obvious. Oh. <laughs> Difficulty on the movie. I oh. don't know. Would you ever dare to do anything like that again? Do you think? Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. I oh. probably have to be a bit fitter though. But, yeah. Mm. Oh, and I just want. Maybe I wasn't doing it right. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, from what I saw, you're doing it ex extremely well. Oh, and what? That's good. What we talked about before, which I was very surprised at, was um, that I don't think that any of those movements were requiring a real lot of weight uh, work under load, except for maybe some of those straight leg positions mm. on the foam roller where you're swinging them in big circles. Mm. That was pretty loaded, you know, mm. um, when you particularly yeah. when you lower yeah, those legs, was... it's pretty loaded. Yeah. But everything else was pretty much just. Mm. getting uh, your body open and connected mm. yeah there wasn't a real lot of big muscle activity mm. going on in fact yeah. we were trying to steer away from forcing mm. and to just um, find getting a feel for one bit connecting to another and guess what we smoked out a lot of stuff that was having a hard time stuff mm. that never works never sees the light of day mm. ordinarily but no heavy loading and what a workout mm. how uh, how many out of 10 was was that for a good workout um yeah that would have been an eight too really yeah, that's great. okay mm. okay so what bits did you particularly were there any bits you particularly enjoyed um i think i enjoyed it all apart from the standing up one uh, where i was stretching and reaching yeah. to the side sure I like the the one where the roller was horizontal. Yeah. Not vertical with my spine. Yeah. Um, under your under your hips. Yeah. Yeah, great. And my ankles. Ah, oh, you that liked was good. that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What was good about the ankles? Um. Oh, it was just good, sort of, you know, just being aware of and still being able to connect with my shoulders. Wow. And, things like that yeah. yeah was was that nice feeling um one your whole body yeah kind of and as uh, the roller came up it was still really good yeah know, feeling all connected yeah mm. so i don't want to put words in your mouth but what what other words could you use to describe that feeling of connection is there anything else that comes to uh, mind just what's nice yeah, about whole, it whole body movement you yeah know, it was all working together yeah. and yeah um, um yeah it was just um more coordinated yeah sure and, mm. sure did you find well, one part of your body was good at helping the other parts or not necessarily um i just found i had to yeah just relax okay more and um it did itself okay mm. sure okay um, were there any bits apart from the standing at the end that you thought were didn't work and you know should be avoided or anything uh, the one under my shoulder blades yes was quite 
yes, um, extreme. It was. It was. Um, it was probably a little difficult. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it was also sort of, you know, something. It was good as well. Yeah. Mm. Okay. How how was it good? Um. Yeah, at first I thought, how am I going to get my tailbone to the floor? Yeah. But once I did, it was yeah. quite yeah. relaxing. Okay. Mm. okay. So in terms of gear, would you recommend working on a foam roller? Uh, yeah, yep. Okay. Yep, it certainly... Yeah, I found, you know, oh, that was the one. I became very unbalanced where, you know, I don't know if I was doing it right. Yep, or not. okay. It just felt as though I wasn't doing it. Right. Okay. Like oh, that was really hard when the, yeah. when it was lengthways along mm. your spine. Yeah, that yeah. was really hard. When I had to lift the leg, and I just totally lost it. Yeah. So I thought sure. I just wasn't doing something uh, yeah. right. Sure. I mm. couldn't do that for. In fact, I thought I'd never get the hang of that. And then mm. I found that the key was uh, to relax, and then it was all much easier uh, for me. Yeah. Mm. That that was just my little tip that worked. Mm. Um, have you got any tips for people about the the spiky pads? Mm. Can you, do they help you feel your feet more? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Although, yeah, sometimes I think I'd probably grip more if I didn't have. If you them. didn't have the pads, you could mm. grip a bit better. Mm. Sure. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Sure. And what about the uh, pillow underneath, between your shoulders? How that did you feel lovely. about that? Yep. Yeah, how, that how was did... really good. That was. Um, yep. Yeah, more relaxing. Great. Mm. Great. Um, just relaxing, and uh, how did you feel about the shape of your body? You know, compared to not having a pillow. Um. Yeah, it, positioning it, of your body. it supported my shoulders yes. on the back. Okay. And, um, yep, so they could drop drop more. Shoulders dropped? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Great. Good. Mm -hmm. That's really great. Thank you.